Welcome back to It's Tough, the Magnum Street Child Podcast. So today on It's Tough, we're going to talk about the school system, how it's failed all of us, and what we can do to remedy the situation, and how we can actually learn in this fucked up environment. Before we do any of that, first thing I want you to do is I want you to hit the sub or the follow button wherever you are so you can get an update on whenever I drop a new video or er, podcast. Second thing I want you to do, I want you to throw me a comment, get in contact with me, DM me, uh, make a comment on one of my posts. I don't care, just let's start a conversation. Tell me a topic, an opinion, something you want to talk about. Third thing I want you to do, I want you to share this. I want you to share this with a teacher. I want you to share this with a friend. I want you to share this with somebody who, uh, I don't know, might appreciate, might enjoy it. Because I feel like shitting on the school system is kind of something we all can do together and enjoy, you know? Like, it should be an inclusive matter. Because we all are forced to go through this fucked up system. And we don't get to shit on it, you know? And it's, when we are kids and we're shitting on it, you know, we don't really understand why we're shitting on it. And then when you get out of school, you're just so happy that you aren't fucking dealing with it. That you don't even care anymore. And that fucks all the kids behind you. But it's all kind of fucked, you know? Like... How can we keep going on in this pattern of negative learning? Like, you don't learn anything at school anymore. Like, do you, have you, did you learn anything that you really are going to use or that if you're older, if you've already graduated high school or even college, how much of that did you actually use? I mean, I can tell you, I don't go to any schooling anymore. And I've never had to use the fucking quadratic equation. And I know I've spent four fucking years learning it. Okay, I mean, they did tie it to you in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, every fucking geometry pre-calc. I think they all use fucking the quadratic. I don't gotta use it. I mean, yeah, sure, I fucking multiply it and divide, but that's just basics. I mean, we all learn that in fifth grade. We all can kind of figure that out. And the school system fucks you in many ways. I mean, I went to a fucking good-ass school, uh, hypothetically, but they still, all the teachers are still, not all of them, not going to say that because I did have a few good teachers. But 90% of the teachers really don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck to work hard. They're fucking lazy. And they don't want to teach you fucking anything. Okay? They go on and they teach you the same fucking lesson plan. They never even bother updating the fucking data. I mean, you're going to learn more up-to-date fucking data in a more fun, and inviting, and engaging way. Watching a Netflix special on World War II and for one and a half hours than you are in an entire U.S. class. Now... I had a good U.S. teacher. He invested. He, you know, learned and tried working. And his main goal was to get us to do well on the final AP exam, which we did. Okay. And that was his goal. And that makes sense. But for teachers who are just, you know, wholesomely teaching you and it, there's no real stress, they don't even put it upon themselves to teach you the right way or the right information. They just want you to submit to their will. You know, they, they don't give you anything. They don't really want you to learn. They just want you to you know, break down and do what they want you to do. You understand that? They don't want you to learn the topic and have a good command over the information. No, they want you to have a command over the information that they teach you, that they want you to do, okay? I've learned more watching fucking YouTube about science, history, fucking A, English, everything. I mean, every single topic, basically, other than math, but math I never fucking use. So, so, so what's the point? Like, I, I'm, I've learned more useful information off of YouTube. And, I mean, just an example. I've learned more in the past week and a half of podcast, or two weeks, however long I've been fucking doing this. I guess I never learned how to count. But uh, I've learned more in this time than I did in all my years of fucking high school. Okay, my buddy tells me, he's like, because I send him, I have a blog. Go check out my blog. It's Magnum. It's a Wix site, so it's kind of shitty, but go check it out. Anyways, he's like, Magnum, you're fucking... English has gotten better in these past four days of writing these blogs than it ever was in uh, high school. And we went to high school, uh, we had every English class basically together. Now, how the fuck is that possible? I mean, I, I have teachers teaching me. I have guided assistants. H how are they failing me? Well, they're failing me because they don't really care. And I, I can't expect them to care, you know? I'm not blaming our teachers because why the fuck would a teacher care, you know? They're just in there, get their paycheck and get out, you know? And they, why... Why stress out? Why have a tough day about it? You know, I don't blame them. Just take it easy. But at the same time, maybe we just need to reevaluate the entire situation. Maybe we need to say that, 
Well, maybe teachers aren't really the answer. Maybe you should let kids fucking watch YouTube and do what they like. Or maybe they should go down a classroom that they're more passionate about. So a teacher isn't stuck teaching a class they don't fucking like to kids that don't fucking like it and aren't interested in the topic. So, so then no one gives a fuck. And if no one gives a fuck, guess what's going to happen? Nothing. There's going to be no progress and no growth like there hasn't been for the past I mean, however long the fucking school system's been around. I mean, I think since public school has been initiated, it has not changed. It's still kids in seats at desks, okay? Sure, they're integrating tablets and technology to make us, make the school system seem new wave. But it's not. There's nothing new about it. It's all old. It's all old styles of teaching, okay? Old information. You don't actually learn any of the nuances and the, you know, multi aspectual situations that are going on in the world in the past, in the present, in the future. And the problem is, all this stuff is supposed to teach us and give us a good base so that we can carry on our lives. You know, if not to just teach us the information, but to allow us to look at the world in a different, more uh, nuanced way. But if, if no one really understands that that's the goal, and, no, and none of those. Um, None of those aspects are being attributed to the actual teaching of the information. How the fuck is it supposed, how are we supposed to get better nuanced look at the world? How are we supposed to understand how this works and that works and the cause and effect and the relationships, all these things? You can't. Because no one's telling you, no one's teaching you. You have to go on fucking YouTube. Okay, this is what I've done. I've literally just YouTube. That's it. I mean, I value YouTube over going to class, or I did value YouTube over going to class. I value YouTube over anything. Because... Nowadays, people also don't understand that they haven't, they need a change. I don't know how, I need to change it because now you can literally become an expert, or not an expert, but a pseudo expert in any topic in one day. If I want to be an, um, an expert in Carl Jung, okay, and I have a decent, you know, uh, understanding of psychology and this, that, I could spend one day, and I'm not going to understand all his ideas and this and the other and all the nuances, but I can have a pretty fucking firm grasp on it. You could give me a test, and I probably wouldn't do that bad. You know, if I need to learn about even an entire class, United States history, I mean, you can literally learn that in a period of eight hours, just a brief overview. But if you actually want to delve into it, you can literally do it on your own. You can, it can take you 30 hours, but how long is that? Say it takes you 30 days, one hour a day. That's not that bad, okay? One month, and you can have a very, very, very strong command of American history. Very strong. Okay, a stronger command than if you go to class for 45 minutes every fucking day. I mean, these teachers, they don't teach you what they need to teach you, you know? And the problem is no one really wants to learn. Most of the kids that are in there don't really want to learn the fucking information. I don't blame you guys. Sometimes it's boring. Sometimes it's just not what you're into. Whatever it is. But at some point, you have to find something that you do like. And you got to say, fuck school. Like, school is not going to teach me what I want to learn. Okay, but you have to want to learn something. But once you find that something to learn, I mean, that's what you have to go after. Because if you can become, you know, an expert in that and understand all the nuances from that perspective, then guess what? Then in the future, then when you're looking at different uh, dynamics and stuff like that, you can think, well, shit, I think I can capitalize on this, whatever it is. You want to make money, you want to just make a better life for yourself. Okay, you can capitalize on it as long as you teach yourself. So that's the key. It's really like... We have to take the power away from our teachers and say, you know what? You don't have the power. You may teach, but I'm the one who has to learn, okay? And if I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn about what I want on my fucking terms. And I think that's going to help me, okay? And some kids, you know, that you need to be forced because you guys are fucking dumbasses. But if you're that stupid, you should take up a fucking trade because none of this shit's really going to matter to you. You're going to learn it in high school, forget it in college, relearn it in college. Then once you get out of college, you aren't going to give a fuck about it, Okay? You need to find something that you kind of want to have a command on or you're interested in. And once you follow that and you, you know, you snake through and you see what you like and what you don't like, well then, then I mean you actually can learn. Then your brain will actually get developed and then you can understand the nuances of certain things. Okay, it's not just, oh, fucking beat through it and you're going to learn it. No, if you don't give a fuck, you're going to forget. You know, it, it, that's a fact. Like, there's a ton of shit I don't, I never gave a fuck about in pre-calc. I never learned it. Like, I'm sorry, but I, I didn't care, didn't learn it, and now I don't even use it. So, how does this make sense? Like, it's, it's like a fucking Ponzi scheme. Like, not shitting on math, but math is a fucking Ponzi scheme. 
you just fucking keep throwing your money in and they give you a report and even if you're doing good it's like oh great 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 so i want to get some usefulness out of math nah sorry man it doesn't it doesn't work like that you know you just learned all this bullshit but it doesn't really matter it's not like you're really gonna use it in everyday life and unless you become an engineer which is like point fuck 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 of a percent of the people you know so I, I don't know. I I just inventing about it because it's it's fucking tiring. But the way I've learned, and I think it's been fucking amazing. I mean, I learn so much better and so much more now. It's insane. Like I feel my mind feels just alleviated. Cause it, the other thing too about school is it fucking tires you out. Okay, I'm not just making excuses for why you don't learn and shit like that. But it tires you out. You get home from school, you're like fuck because you aren't the most dedicated person. You know, you're just a student trying to get by. So you're like, I don't want to learn while I'm not in school. You know, what's the point? Like, I, I already did my learning for today. But imagine if you did your learning for today, because everyone's going to have some sort of quest for learning. You know, you're going to have some sort of itch for it. And if you aren't, well, then you need to go the trade path. And eventually you'll get pushed in the trade path. But if you actually do have a brain that wants to learn and wants to understand these things, you're going to have a natural craving for it. And if you crave something that is actually interesting to you and that you actually like, guess what? Okay, you're going to learn way better and you're going to be ahead of the curve. It, it's natural, you know, like in economics. You know, they say that free markets always be governed by kind of our own invisible hand. That, you know, you working and you just doing the best for yourself will end up benefiting the market and everyone else involved with the market. Well, that's the same with learning. Okay, if you're forced to learn something, you're not going to work nearly as good as if you just learn something on your own. You aren't going to be as beneficial to someone else. You know, you aren't going to make a beneficial impact on the earth if you're just being forced to learn these basic things that you don't give a fuck about. But if you're actually uh, encouraged to learn something that you enjoy, whether it be, it doesn't really matter, guys. You could be a football analyst. There's need for those. You could be a I don't know, videographer, whatever it is, there's something, you know, you can be a DJ, you can, all these things, understanding sounds and audio and anything, that's what I'm trying to say, anything, you can learn literally anything on the fucking internet now, and learning that way will be infinitely more fulfilling, and will actually be better for everyone in the long run, so that's the failure of our school system today, okay, that's how school is just, you know, just wasted, I mean, it's wasted 12 years of my life, give or take, whatever, you know? It's wasted that time. But now, sure, were there some beneficial points? Yeah, sure, whatever, but come on. If we're shotgunning it that wide of a range, I mean, you know, it's not that fucking useful. So maybe we need to focus a little bit more. I mean, school is basically daycare. That, that's what it's used as now, you know? And it's always been used as, but now they're trying to put it under the guise of education. You need to learn like this, that, and the other. Dude, no. Use that time to actually learn something you're interested in if you can fucking waste it in class, you know? Like, if you're gonna waste it playing a game, you might as well waste it trying to learn something else. You know? I, I, I think that's the only thing that you really can do to combat it right now. It's just say, fuck you, and I'm gonna learn what I wanna learn. And sure, you aren't gonna get the credit for it, but if you learn and understand more than most other people, it doesn't matter if you have credit for learning it or not. You, you can prove how much you've learned, you know? And I haven't learned a lot about cameras and audio and this, that, and the other, but I've learned a fuck ton more than I would have if I stayed in school. I mean, I tried making a fucking website in class once for my fucking project. It was stupid as shit. So I'm trying. I can't do shit. I'm just deleting everything. I just make it like the most simple, like click on this, you go to all my fucking assignments, and that's that, right? So, so I create this podcast, I create my blog, and it's a Wix site, so they kind of help you set it up, but boom, 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 I understand all of it, I'm interested, I'm like, oh, if I move that there, that would flow better, oh, this is that, you know, it's not perfect, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but, I mean, that's, that's pretty insane, like, that I can learn more in literally an hour than I spent, I spent probably five hours on it when I was in class, because I didn't want it. You know, why am I doing this for a jack-off teacher? I mean, this is the most idiotic. Why am I making a website so that you can check my final project? Like, like this, it's dumb. So that's it, guys. That's all I got to say today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this talk. I hope it got you guys thinking. You know, maybe we'll learn something more interesting next time. I hope you bastards have a fucking educated day.